Okay, I've been stalling for almost an hour, so let's actually start inscription. Oh, okay. So we can't start a new game, so it's like as if this game was already played before, I guess? I've kind of spoiled myself a little bit on like the entirety of chapter 1, so <laughs> I know a little bit too much, honestly. Another challenger, it has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Oh, there we go. Play the squirrel card. Now play your stone. Stone costs one blood, sacrifice must must be made. Rest in peace, squirrel. An honorable death. Play the stone. Hi, stone. I've seen you. Your stone stands unopposed. The number of the bottom left is its attack power. One. Your stone deals me, dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Also, I, since I do know a decent amount of chapter 1, which I already forget majority of it, it took me a very, very, very long time to realize that the scale has a counter on the top. <laughs> your stone stands in the way of my coyote. How do, you, how do you spell coyote again? It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck or you may draw a squirrel. There we go. Put him down. And click the bell. There we go. There we go. You found this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This is a pretty cool map. You were lost deep in the forest. This is like a TTRPG, isn't it? Which is really cool. I really want to play TTRPG at one point. TTRPG looks so fun to play with, but I don't have any friends to play TTRPG with. <laughs> you were lost deep in the forest. Single path revealed itself. It's me. Two denizens in the forest approach you tentatively. What does tentatively mean? Uh, the caustic adder. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal? So it's an instant kill. Okay. The undying cat. Cat. It's cat. The stream's over. There's the cat. You find the cat. We found the funny cat. Viewers, go back. Viewers, there's, uh, there's a cat in the stream. <laughs> the babble cats. The battle cats. It's cat. Oh my god. Sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Okay. It's it's like it's like it's, it's like a reference to battle cats. It's like a meat shielding. It's like Jiangshu cat. You get it? Cause it's like if you, if you, if you kill it, it'll, it'll still survive. Only one may grace your paltry deck. Cat. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. A squirrel in the bottle? Why is the squirrel in the bottle? Another useful implement. Oh god, I remember seeing this in action. This is not fun to look at, but oh well. Tree is as much as you can carry. Okay. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. <laughs> you didn't know to sacrifice me? Oh, wh why is your text so fast? Is there a way to- I can only read out saying you didn't sacrifice me, how kind. Perhaps we can work together? Is that it? The rule book. Oh, okay. A fledgling, a card bearing the sigil. Need I remind you your item may help? Shut up! A card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board? Okay... Boulder cat- look! Not everything is a battle cat's reference! So what is this? Airborne, a card bearing the sigil will strike an opponent directly even if there is a creature opposing it. Oh, okay. That's kind of fucked up. One, two, three, there we go. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now blooded terrain. We really are playing Yu-Gi-Oh, huh? You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. Uh, you were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Oh. <gasps> cat! It's the time to say goodbye to the cat. So let's try Sparrow. Hmm? What's this? You look upon your- Pick me. <laughs> you look upon your manager and select a healthy host. So it makes them flying? Is that it? <laughs> you gotta pick the stone he asked nicely. That is true. Bird cat. It can't even attack! Let's do a flying wolf. Rest in peace, Sparrow. Oh, in that case, I could have sacrificed the cat for like, like the stone. I should have taken out the stupid cat. I knew it. Oh, it's just a uh, fine. Oh, behold my totem, it describes my canine cars with the airborne decision. Are you fucking kidding me? All of their dogs are not flying? Is that it? A, a, a flying coyote? Fuck you. My totem is granted by coyote the power of flight. Jesus. Wait, you attack immediately? Shit. Okay, this should be the stone. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No, no one, no care for the rule. Pathetic, really. Enough. <laughs> Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. All right, this should kill you. What a tree. Bop, 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 bop. There we go. That was kind of clutch, though. Proud wolf. Cat! Uh, grizzly. 
You want another cat? You really can't afford to make your deck more expensive right now. That is true, actually. Yeah. All right. Extra cat it is. But if there's a sacrifice to be made, we're sacrificing the cat. Oh, is this a sacrifice again? Oh, right. This is the same sacrifice as before. Okay. We're sacrificing the cat. Well, okay. Th this is the only choice we can make. We're sacrificing the old cat. Sorry, old cat, but goodbye. Uh, <laughs> no, that's my only choice. <laughs> Close the game. No. Uh, I'll go with Stone, because he, cause he's cheap. What an honor. There we go. Oh, oh, is this like a mighty leap? A card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Okay, that's great. Oh, fuck, grizzly bear already? It's going to attack next turn, isn't it? If you don't tank the bear hit, you are dead. Yeah. If you use a Markiplier, you don't die. Yeah. I don't think I can make a sacrifice right now. I think I, ha I think I have to make the Markiplier. To the user, you will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Oh, fuck. Is it time? Yeah. I guess it's time. A well-earned point of damage. I didn't think you would really do it. I think I'll skip this turn. Because I think I'll have to look and see what the next card is. Grizzly. Ouch. Oh fuck. I think, I think I'm gonna die here actually. No, I think I'm dead. I don't I don't see any I don't see any way to do this. No, yeah, there's no way to win anyways. I, I wasn't able to spawn anything else, so I couldn't get the stone. If only I ha if only I have the stone. If I have the stone, I could have done something at least. Oh, unfortunate. You think this is a learning opportunity, maybe the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Oh, okay. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel besides the door. What's going on here? Okay, bring it here. Wait, wait, I'm not done messing with your stuff. Hi. Let me explain something to you. Poof. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Oh, okay. Now, where are we? This really is like Yu-Gi-Oh, isn't it? If you lose the shadow game, you die. A uh, gust from this may lift your creatures into the air if only for a turn. Oh, okay. I feel like Squirrel's probably the best choice, isn't it? Because, like, we really need to sacrifice. Also, I just look at the guy at the back. He's just looking at the... Uh, he's just going left and right. <laughs> ah, whatever. Let's try the fan. Feeling overburdened enough for the full three items you carried on. Just the boss. This is- he's a very good, uh, d, &D what do you call it? Like, d, &D master. <laughs> the tree seems to close in around you as a chill mist descend. Gamble? You wanna gamble now? I mean, I could. Banger DM, right? He, he would be an amazing DM. Yeah, it makes sense to doubt me. I feel like this is not a good deck for now. In the distance, you could hear the clicking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Uh, Twas the prospector. Oh, of course there's a boulder. He's doing the prospector again? Easy boss. The meal's the key. Okay. Bayoli pack meal. What is this? At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Stoat will put you here. This spot, you sure? It's fine. Wolf will put you here. Here we go. That's all for now. We've already almost won. Oh, wait, wait, we won. <laughs> well, uh, I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. Oh, never mind. Okay, so there's two faces. There's gold in them cards. What do you mean? Hey! Hey, what the fuck? Uh, that also turned into gold? What the fuck? Both of these are flying, though. Flying here is screwing you. Yeah, that's what I thought. You think too much? What do you mean I think too much? You have to think for these kind of games. <laughs> that's part of the fun. That's why I stopped asking you whether that's a good placement or not. I didn't know it's going to turn me into a fucking gold nugget. Fuck that. I think this is a guaranteed loss. No, I think this is just a big misplay over here. Is this salvageable, I think? I don't know. I don't think so. Not a scripted loss, just unlucky. Yeah, I, I really think this is just because of this gold nugget. Fuck. I <laughs> know I'm dead. I'm fucking dead, bro. More gold for me. That's a long ass hand. You'll get him next time, probably. Now that I actually know about the gold mechanic. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. I want this to be the perfect memento for you. Okay, here's some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please, choose the card to draw the Of course, the cap. A cost of one blood from the cap. There we go. Uh, I will use its power and health, the numbers. No, yeah, I think the offense is gonna be more important. I think I think 3 damage is fine. 3 power and 2 health. Choose the card, will extract it. 
This I only have one sigil. Scale a uh, sigil of airborne from the raven. I should have taken. Uh, you should have given me the cat. Uh, I never did ask you for your name. All oh, right, this is gonna be a cart, isn't it? Okay, fine. For from popular demand, it's gonna be bird cat. There is now but one final matter, the portrait. Are you ready? Uh, can I move? No, I guess not. You do not need to smile. Ah, uh, flashbang! Me when I use Discord light mode. Ah, uh, turn off the light mode. No more. Here we go again. Okay. Person number two, I guess. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can understand bones. Hey, speaking of bones, did you guys remember about how uh, Sans won the Tumblr Sexy Man of 2022? Did you guys know that? Yeah, Toby Fox himself made a fanfic of it. The resourceful... The resourceful... Oh, how do you spell this? Wow, Google Translate just says Samacham Tupai, which is literally just a kind of squirrel. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. From the death of your creatures, you gain the bone. You will not lose this until it is spent or the battle ends. Okay. Jerma985 in an inscription reel. He did play inscription not too long ago, right? Jerma cried at my meat while playing Elden Ring. I mean, if he puts you in a meat grinder and only your eyeball comes out, you're probably dead. Okay. If I... If I chop you up in a meat grinder and the only thing that comes out that is left of you is your eyeball, you're, you're probably dead. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a two to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Okay. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. Oh, okay. It's beside the safe. So, squirrel and bullfrog. I, I just need to remember that. Literally, Banger DM makes custom figurines for you. Yeah! Even, like, puts on the mask and, like, when he enters the boss fight and stuff, he, there's, like, a bunch of, like, trees going on, like, the environment change and everything. What is this? Mirror one half bone? Why is there so much? What the fuck? Failure? Nothing will happen. This bottle of goo has no use. What? Alright, let's get back. Cockroach. An unkillable cockroach. It returns to your hands after dying. Oh, that's interesting. Probably should take the cockroach, right? Yeah, let's take the cockroach. I am no tyrant. You may stand up whenever the mat is unrolled. It allows me to plan your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm totally going to touch everything, actually. Uh, should I do the good old try everything combination? We're gonna be here for hours. Don't touch that, touches. I mean, if you're telling me to like, hey, don't touch that, that's an invitation to touch it. Uh, it's bleeding yields tree bloods. If you can ignore the bleeding. It's sacrificed worthy of tree bloods, is that it? What was the picture on the frame says again? Was it bullfrog on the right middle and squirrel on the left? So bullfrog here and squirrel here. Whoa, what was that? Check the painting again after this battle, I will. Alpha. Creatures adjacent to a card bearing the sigil gain one. Oh, okay. How many bones do I have? Only one? Oh, you can. That's kind of cute. You can flip the coin. Okay, hold on. Let's let's, let's see the painting. Oh, a pot? Oh, I can take it? Wait, what? Huh. You plucked that from the oil painting. You must not like the cards that I deal you, huh? You can now reroll cards? Reroll? Wait, what? Oh, okay, I see. So, wolf, sparrow, bird cat! Let's take the bird cat, of course. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that'll enhance its power, said another. You notice one of the survivors wiping drill from their mouth. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Bird cat, there you go. The fire warmed the poor bird cat, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the bird cat away from the fire at last. The flying sigil would be work well with uh, flying thing. Uh, for the moment, it's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent, I will tell you it's just shreds. Uh, what did he say something again? He just said something about something being in this cabin. He said there's a way out. Right. One, two, three, four. Ow, ow. Oh, I can just win. <laughs> I can just win next turn, actually. Yeah, this, yeah, this kills. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Goddamn. Large cranium place. Exactly. It only took a completely different game for Bird Cat to be good. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. See? What a good DM. He gets really into it. 
Care to look at me pelts? Take a pelt, free of charge. Oh, okay, sure. Well, I guess we'll take this then. You're leaving already? Please consider me pelts. I, I, I literally don't have anything else, so... Th thanks for your business. They appear to be useless in the fight. But he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. Oh, okay. <gasps> Cockroach. Um, okay. Bird cat, you're now immortal. There we go. Bird cat is getting talents. Yeah, he's getting survive lethal talents. Oh, it's what, uh, the flying thing again. Are you smart or something? He usually doesn't even bother teaching about bones. All right, here's the tip. I saw a pass victim writing a passcode in the rule book. In the rule book? Oh, bird cat is here. Okay. If I use bird cat though, it's going to... Wait, no, this is an instant win. Wait, right. Wait, yeah. I instantly win with this. Hold on. Yeah, I just win. One, two, three, four. There we go. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, that's cheesy as fuck. What the hell? <laughs> you encountered a small outpost in the woods, tended by the mysterious woman. It was the trader that the old trapper had mentioned. Oh, okay. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? Okay. Let's start with your hair pelts. Here's what I can offer. Ooh. I can trade you any one of these. Take your time. Oh, interesting. Rabbit hole. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as zero power, one health. Mantis? Mantis is goaded? Mantis. By Bifurcated strike. What is this name? A card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and the right of space across from it. If both spaces are empty, will it deal 2 damage? Yes? Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah, let's take Mantis. Oh, Wolf Pelts too. Exquisite. Ooh, it has sigils. What is this? Many lives. When the card bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. Oh, right. It's the cat. Oh, it's a Wolf Cup too. Huh. Wait, what does Beehive do? Bees within. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, a bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined as one power, one health airborne. Oh, okay. I think the wolf is going to be really interesting. Yeah, I think I'll take the wolf cup. These pelts are most excellent, my tank. Didn't the stoat say something about the- Oh, right. Yeah, let's try that. Rule book. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's literally right here. 273. Okay. Uh, do you mind if I touch your stuff? I'm very sorry. Let's try this. Two. Seven. Tree. Oh. Hello. Stink bug. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape the iron crypt. Is is the stone around? The stunted wolf? The madness must end. Put that away. Uh sorry, I'm taking it. I'll also take the key. You're fine with this? Okay. If you don't say anything, sure. What the hell is this? Oh, I think I've seen this. It's like a puzzle where you have to win, right? Okay, yeah, got it. So that's what I need to do. I forgot that I put that there. Very well, you may add it to your deck and I'll deal you one so every so often. What is this? What was that sigil? Okay, so... Oh, okay, so it creates something on the side of it. Is that it? So if I do that... There we go, 5 for the 5. Worker, Ant, and Queen. Formidable creature, those ants. Very well, I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. Okay. Ants! Ant-Man! Oh, there's more! Oh, now I gotta finish this for sure. Ah, there we go. Aged Wolf. Curious. That spikes? It deals damage to attackers when attacked? Oh, okay. Whoa! I have no idea what happened there. I have no idea what happened there, but I'll take it. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. In the time, you'll understand its power. Okay. Ant Queen. When a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. Right. The value is represented. The sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on the side of the table. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created on its place and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Stinky. <laughs> Let the creature opposing a card bearing the sigil lose its one power. That's kind of funny. A group of starving survivors. Uh-huh. There's a room for the creature who won with its power when the survivors said nothing at all but could not step licking its lips. Mantis. Oh, Mantis would be good too, actually. Yeah. The power of the Mantis was enhanced by the worm. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Okay. Go, go, gamble, gamble your points, gamble your points. This is it. This is, it. This is the run for sure. So we only have one chance. Okay. There's only 10 points on still no way. If, if I actually lost, whoever's on no is a big rich person. If I lost, you get like 50,000 points for betting 10 points. No way you throw for content. 
But what if? Twas the prospector! Yeehaw! You again. Indeed, our friend freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've gotta be. I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Bone King. When a card bearing the sigil dies, four bones are rewarded instead of one. Oh, okay. Hey, let's take the card. Bird Cat! Okay, we'll save Bird Cat for another phase. We kind of want to stall for the pack mule. Wait, what is that? Mole? When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing the sigil would move to that space, receive the strike instead. Oh, okay. End of turn. There we go. Thank you for the cards. Let's go. Ooh, that's a lot. Dak Nabbit, my mule! Attack now. <laughs> Moles just keep on attacking. Oh, uncage the- Ooh, there we go. What was that? Go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, you don't- You don't spawn another card? Okay. Alright, phase two. There are golds in the cards. Oh, we, we leave too much, but it's fine. Oh, it turns into bones too. Okay, that's useful. Gold, I've struck gold. God, there's so much stuff here. Should they just start with Bird Cat? Yeah, we can just start with Bird Cat. It'll, it won't be able to do anything on the next turn, right? Uh, yeah, I win. And attack. Boom. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of extra gold. Let's go. That was an easy win. Way easier now that we know to take it slow. It's 1,000 points on second try is the run. And 51,000 points on send them to the shadow realm. <laughs> minus 5, minus 10, minus 10. <laughs> Allow me to light your candles once more. I wouldn't be killing you quite yet. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Okay. Ooh. The uninspiring Gek. Perhaps you can find a use for it? Is it just a squirrel? Mole man. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's like mole, but it has the flying thing. Interesting. Pack rat. The prudent pack rat never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. Trinket bear. When a card bearing the sigil is played, you will receive a random item as long as you're- Oh, what? Oh, that's interesting. Gek is literally game-breaking if you're lucky? Really? It is free 1-1, one, one, yeah. Unkillable Gek. Oh my god, unkillable Gek would be so funny. Yeah, Gek seems like a really good utility unit. We'll take it. With the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carry it onwards. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. Uh... Rat King! <gasps> rat! The tragic Rat King. When their tangled bodies become corpses... Oh, you gained four bones, gotcha. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's what Rat King is! This is an actual thing, isn't it? Rat King is literally a collection of rats whose tails are intertwined and bound together in some way. This may be a result of entangling material like hair, sticky substance such as sap or gum, or the tails being tied together. Historically, this phenomenon was particularly associated with Germany. Yeah, I think I think I'll reroll for now. River Snapper, River Otter. The elusive otter it submerges itself during my turn. Mantis! Waterborne. A card bearing the sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures attack its own and Oh, okay. Yeah, let's let's take another Mantis. It's fine. You came across some familiar stones, but there's something different. You intuit you intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. Let's do it, Wolf. I'm going with Wolf. You callously slaughtered the wolf. However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. Oh, the minor boon of a bone lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. Oh, okay. I was expecting a little more, a little bit more than one bone, but that's fine. Girl Gag. So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost all my memory in the flash. I'll, I'll bring another mantis then. I, I have three mantises. Oh, speaking of sacrifice. Uh, I think I'll go with Skinkbug, because Skinkbug is just easy to spawn. Go. Empower me. There we go. You're strong now, skink bug. I spawn mantis off right off the bat. Okay, let's just put it here. Uh, and oh, bomb, four damage, baby. Oh wait, yeah, I'm gonna win next turn. Won't I? Yeah, I'm gonna win next turn. <laughs> no overkill, but oh well, that's fine. I still win. You arrive at the inky black mouth of cake. Oh. <laughs> this guy's a really good DM. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke, pass one of my trials and I will be yours in a raspy voice. 
Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again. But first, you will choose a trio. What? The trio of health. The three drawn cards must have at least six health. Oh no. Most of my units are like one health. The trial of blood. Three drawn cards must cost at least four bloods combined to pass. Okay. The trial of power. The three drawn cards might have at least four power, four attack powers combined. I feel like power is the most likely. Yeah, let's go with power. The, the trial of power begin. Uh, well, there we go. I win. Thank you, bird cat. <laughs> four from the bird cat, one from the mantis, one from the stoat. You have passed the trial. Thank you, bird cat MVP. Let's go. The beast revealed itself. It was. Oh, I can choose. Sparrow, Elk Fawn, or Moose Buck. Oh, Elk was the one that has like four attack, wasn't it? Let's try Elk Fawn. The inhabited Elk Fawn joined your menagerie. We're fine with backpack, right? So let's do another sacrifice then. Oh, I still have another Mantis. Since Wolf isn't really useful right now, we might as well make it good. Go. We can basically insta-kill too. Greetings. Uh, Bird Cat is here. Wait, are you fucking kidding me? I think I win. Wait, whoa, 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 wait. I think I win. I think I win. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> oh my god. That's so stupid. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Didn't need to bother with that. Jesus. Haven't really been using Adder much. River Snappers, uh, Coyote. Coyote is a bone? Adder on Gek? Oh, yeah, I guess I guess we'll just take it for the sigil, huh? Near the damage puzzle? Oh, this one? Oh, right, you can take it now. Put here. Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, so I can take the knife. You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of the squirrel, though you may wish that you hadn't. Uh, can I stab you with it? No, I guess not. <laughs> Use the knife to add four to the scale? What the hell am I cutting? Am I cutting my fingers with it? <laughs> you have a knife to stab the guy and run. That's what I'm thinking. Oh yeah, there's a sacrifice here. Alright, that adder, I know you just got in, but go, Gek. Now you're a killer Gek. Let's go. Alright, time for the boss, I guess. Oh boy. Uh, right. The smoke and the boss. Right. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler, go fish. Oh, so you have the hook. Oh, you can probably steal my cars or some shit, right? Which fish? Hard to choose. Oh god. Okay, so it is trying to pull it there. Place a squirrel in front of the underwater unit? Wait, why? He pulls the most recent placed card? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, thank you for the spoilers, I guess, but... Fresher fish, easy choice. Okay, I see. I guess we'll end turn here then. Kingfisher? Oh, wait, they put a bullfrog there too, okay. Oh, oh okay. Mine now, go fish. Gladly. <laughs> I've never taken the goat before, so I might as well might as well take the goat, right? So if I spawn the goat, and then I'll use that to spawn the wolf. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's good. Let's try this. Bird cat is here. Oh fuck. I don't wanna I don't wanna spawn bird cat yet. I feel like he's gonna hook my I feel like he's gonna hook my units. And if bird cat gets into his side, I'm like fuck. <laughs> I'm just going to leave this area like this. Go. Pop up. Pop up. Okay. One. And go fish. Oh, what the hell is that? Bait bucket. I'm still really scared to spawn like bird cat. Because I feel like he's I feel like he's gonna do something real bad about this, but whatever. I don't think he's gonna do anything for this turn yet, right? And and turn. Pop up. Great white? Oh Jesus. Okay. That's fine. You're you're dead. <laughs> bye bye. That, that that was scary. The reveal was scary, but it's fine. <laughs> Very well. You may choose a rare card. Child 13? What? Oh, right. Points. 81% on Dowder. Dowder is in massive shambles. Urayuli? 
Seven, seven, four blood? Child 13 does look interesting, so I guess we'll take child 13. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You had ascended to the snow line. Heather that does bro- Oh, this one sucks. What the hell? Squirrel, child 13, and elk pond. Oh, wh what is that? Oh, it becomes flying. I see. Wait, hold on. If I spawn the wolf, I should have I could have just won on turn one. Because wolf would deal six damage. I didn't realize that. My streamer is ding dong. It's fine. It's fine. Squirrel. Wolf is here. Wolf is here. <gasps> can I instantly win? I think I can instantly win. Put that there, put that there, put the wolf there, put the wolf there, and there we go. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Wolf. Very good. Golden Pelt? Magnificent. Pack Rat Mantis God? I can't remember. Oh, okay. A MOBA? When a card bearing the sigil is drawn, this sigil is replaced with another sigil at random? Oh, okay. Let's go, Mantis God. You have my gratitude. Mantis Gold plus the Wolf is instant win. Yeah, but... Oh, but Cat is also a good... That is also a good sacrifice. Okay, so Mantis God, and then Child 13. Yeah, that would be interesting. Go. Oof. Stinkbuck Elk Fawn. Uh, Why is your face like this? What happened, Stinkbuck? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Wait. Wait. One, two, one, two. Up, 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 up. <laughs> oh my god, what are these fights? Alright, next one. You can win instantly with his items. Oh wait, you're right! I think I, I actually can, can I? A man stood before you, a man you recognized immediately. It was the trapper. You reached out to examine his wares, but he stopped you. Sorry, but today you will supply the pelts. Ooh, okay. Strange fr look. There's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Okay. When a card bearing the sigil per uh, perishes, the crusher opponent perishes as well. A pelt is created in your hand. A pelt is created in your hand? Okay. Oh, right. Birdcat has unkillable. I totally forgot about unkillable because Birdcat has never died. <laughs> I think I'll leave it be and see what happens. Let's stall for now. Oh, that's a trap? Okay, so the strange frogs turns into a trap. Okay, th that's kind of scary, actually. Worker ant, fuck off! We should be still be fine for this turn, right? Okay, let's wait and see. Bop. 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 It's fine. Bird cat dies, goes back. Wolf pelt us here. Bullfrog attacks. Strange frog attacks. Okay, I can just let Stoat 1v1 the bullfrog, right? Total misplay. Shut up! It's fine! Okay, let's let's tip the scale with bird cat. Okay, let's go. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Bop 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 bop. Like it's gonna hit and then goes to the right. There we go. Okay, let's take this for now. Cockroach. Okay, that's good actually. Because it's bones and we have a lot of bones. I can use the cockroach to deal with the leaping trap. Yeah, okay, let's do that. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Heather, oh fuck. Yeah, I win this turn, but but the question is, the next phase will he will he clean his board? Because if he cleans his board, there's no reason for me to spawn the cockroach right now. But if he doesn't clean his board, I kind of want the cockroach just to tank the elk. I'll play safe. I'll play safe and put the cockroach there just in case. Go. There we go. One face down. Jesus Christ, what the? Too fast, too soon? What? Excuse me? If you beat the boss too fast? <laughs> what? What do you mean if you bo beat the boss too fast? Now use pliers and knife? What? Knife is four? Oh, okay. Well, knife. <sighs> ow, 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 ow. Uh, my eye can't see shit. Okay, and now my teeth. 
Bright Light Room? <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, okay, I see what you guys mean by I literally cannot win. Scripted loss with cheese win. Okay, let's see the cards first. Ouroboros, the Eternal Serpent, that strengthens it forever. Oh, interesting. Mantis God, uh-huh. And the Douse, the Filthy Feral Hawk, it becomes incense when its chimes are struck. Bellus, when a card bearing the sigil is played, a chime is created on each empty adjacent space. A chime is defined as zero power, one health. That's... Mm, I don't think I like that. Uh, I think Ouroboros is probably the best one, right? We'll take Ouroboros. Thank you very much. Believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. Hmm? Oh, we got different eyes? What the fuck is this eye? Okay. That eye looks really weird, but okay. Thank you for the eye. Better? Uh, regardless, the choice is final. Thank you. Middle eye is a goat eye? Oh! Okay, I guess I'm using a, a goaded- Yeah, I guess I'm a goaded eye, hell yeah. With the enigmatic trapper and the trader now bleeding into the snow, you persisted. You could see the light in the distance. The end is near. The end is near? Really? Ooh. Oh. Oh, you're at the final boss? Wait, what? Okay, I guess we'll do it then. Is this fight also a scripted loss? Because if this fight is also similar to the last one, I'm not gonna gamble. <laughs> this fight is normal, not scripted. Okay, I think I'll take the knife. Thank you very much. If you deem it necessary, you may cut one of my cards with these. Oh, okay. Sexy goat. Wait, wait, why is the goat like that? What the fuck? Why is the goat? Ooh, ooh. Let's try scissors. Let's go. Your eyes affix themselves onto the small cabin, its warm light a beacon into the oppressive darkness of the night. Surely, surely this cabin marked the end of your travels. Ooh. 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 Darkness? Ooh. Uh... Oh! Oh, I can move! <laughs> Uh, that took me a while. Okay, I can move. What? Uh, thank you. Steps away from the strange cabin, you are presented with an opportunity. I don't offer my boons to just any travelers. If you are able to pass my trials, we will be rewarded mightily. Oh, another trial? The trial of the swift. The three drawn cards must include a card with a sprinter sigil. Uh, the trials of rare leader must include a rare card. And must include the- okay, I don't have Waterborne. I think it's either this or this. Um, let's do Rarity. Let the trial of Rarity begin. Uh, uh, oh! Ouroboros is a rare card! Hell yeah! Thank you, Ouroboros! Success! I will grant you one of my most precious powerful boons. Cards that dramatically alter the game, and you don't even need to draw them? The boon of Ambidextrous. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. What? The boon of the magpie's eye. When you draw from your deck, you may choose any card. <gasps> what? The boon of goat blood. You will start a battle with the black goat on board. Okay, that's I. No, that doesn't really matter. <laughs> Shit, both of these are really good. I think I'll take magpie, because I think I can set up some really good stuff with magpie. We will repeat that once more. Wait, what? Wait, I have two. The trial. Oh, another trial. The trial of the ring. If you have a ring. Wait, what do you mean I have a ring? Trail of Skins, the three drawn cards must include a pelt card. Uh, uh, no, I don't have any pelt. Uh, or airborne. Okay, yeah, I have neither of these, so... Ouroboros is a ring? Okay. Let the trial of the ring begin. Ouroboros. Aha, a ring. How the fuck did Ouroboros appear again? Wait, what? <laughs> Your choice of boons. Notice something on the board near the bottom? Oh, this? 11? Uh, the boot. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> Uh, the boon of the forest, you will start a battle with Grand First All- No, I don't like that. Or the boon of the bone lord, you will start with eight bones. Uh, I mean, not- I don't really have that much, uh, bone units, so ambidextrous for sure. Take ambidextrous. So what is that, 11 turn? You managed to get both of my boons. I rarely say this, but I am impressed. You have been a worthy adversary. But unfortunately, I must soon put you to death. Okay. Hello? I... Oh? <laughs> you took your time out there. What do you mean out there? I thought I'm still here. What do you mean? And I'm itching for another game. Are you ready to play? Uh-huh. 
Oh wait, I can't- I, I should've backed down a little bit. I hope you are adequately prepared. The smoke? Perhaps one more to be safe. What do you mean one more? What the- Fuck you! What the hell? Fuck off! Why do you have three faces? Mole man? And... What the hell is that? Ammo gap? So smoke, squirrel, Ouroboros on these two, right? Uh, so I can draw two. Right. Mm, what would be the good situation here? I can sacrifice shell 13 and then spawn bird cat immediately. Ah, it's fine. We'll put a, we'll put a cockroach there. Oh, right. Big Mole has that thing. Oh, <laughs> we're back. It's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, what is now has a permanent plus one, plus one, even between runs? What? Oh, that's crazy, actually. If I use Wolf Cup, and then I put Wolf Cup and Cap on the field, I can put two strong monsters. But if I put two strong monsters, they're going to... Mm. You can play blind again. I would like not to, but... uh, Put a squirrel here. We'll put child 13 here, right? Uh, I think Cockroach is gonna be the bait. Cockroach has to be the bait. I guess I can spawn Bird Cat. Um, okay, whatever, it's fine. We'll put it there. Okay. Go. Okay. It's one face down. You capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures, but the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures be appeared before you. In their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship, but colored by guilt, they were betraying you. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> who, who, who's Reginald and Casey? Uh, I have no idea who that is. It's supposed to be that cars you made, but you don't have any. Right. I guess I did got here way too fast. Draw stink bug? Okay, sure. Salutations. Hello. Alright, go. Bop, bop, bop. There we go. Oof. Oh, this damned moon. It's dramatic, yes. But it provides no value to my board. What do you mean no value to my board? I wonder. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> An entire fucking moon? You asshole. Now that is value. Uh, hello? The moon? Mighty Leap, Omni Strike. Wait, it has one damage? Tidal Lock. At the beginning of its owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will pull small creatures like squirrels into its. Huh? Battle Cats. Yeah, it is. It is the final. The final boss of Battle Cats is indeed the Moon. You can't use squirrels to block its attack. Oh, okay. Oh, that's why you want me to use Stink Bug. <laughs> so, okay, I see. I see why you want me to take Stink Bug. We'll put Stink Bug here. There we go. Masterful. Zero attack. Wow. Yeah, that's that's fucked up. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> no attack. Bye-bye. Bop, bop. 34, 32, 30, 29, 28, 27. Okay. What is this? They're weakening my moon with the stinky sigil. It makes no sense. <laughs> moon doesn't have a sense of smell. You, you, you're the one who made the card. Not me. <laughs> Stink buck is just too powerful. This is not how I imagined this battle going. <laughs> Stink bug is too good. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's so fucked up. All right, I'm taking all my, I'm taking all my cards. Bop, 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 bop. Bye bye. You really destroyed the moon, and it's all thanks to Stink Buck, baby. Oh my god, <laughs> he's gonna need to take copium for weeks after this. Oh my god. You really destroyed the moon with like absolute ease just because of one stink bug. I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. Go on. Should I gotch my eye just because I can? <laughs> yes, play blind. All right, to end my run, I will blind myself. There we go. I'm blind, but it's fine. My eye hurts. Enduring victory. <laughs> oh my, did I just... I think I just made him. Oh, it's like the guy playing the game. Okay, I get you. Hmm? This, uh, cam works? The fuck is this cam works? What? What is this? Uh, yeah, that's what everyone's first videos are.
All right. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this uh, is another pack. Of course, opening. he's a pack Today opener. Opening of course, it's fucking Pokemon opener. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is a the Lucky Carter video. Today, I'm opening a few super rare old packs I snagged at a garage sale. Oh. I've got four packs of inscription. Well, there we go. That's the name dropped. It's a, it's a name drop, that's the name of the game, it's inscription, yo! He was like recording the screen, so... <laughs> so I guess it is both like an actual card game and... <laughs> you, know that, you know that meme where it's like Obama giving medal to himself? That's basically this. That's not something that I have. Blue mage? This pack has been opened and resealed. <laughs> Hope no one snuck the rare out of it. That's probably what happens. Yeah. There's a set of coordinates on this card. Oh, okay. Actual they ARG. Were drawn on with a pen. 49 degrees north, 123 degrees. West. 49 north, 133 west. Uh, I think. I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. How do you know that? There's a whole Google Doc with info on the ARG. Do not look it up, please. Spoilers. Okay, fine, fine. I'll I'll not look it up anymore. Okay, I'm watching nice. gameplay, not game theory. You'd here. be surprised when I did like I'm super let's up double laser and I solved ARG I'm real time. Trusty headlamp and shovel. Always come prepared, kids. You probably should pack a little bit more than just that. I wonder what year is this supposed to be set on? Like, I'd imagine it's probably a little bit to the past, not like the current year, I feel like. He is a content creator, so I think it would make sense for him to not reveal his secret. Because that's what content creators do. <laughs> I give a 75% chance it's a rock. But, only one way to find out. It's pretty, pretty well-conceived rock. There's actually something here. It's a rock. Kemba, if it's a rock? Yeah, okay, believers or doubters? What do you think this is? It's gonna be another rare Pokemon card? Or is this just going to be a rock? Oh my god, a floppy disk. It's been a while since I see a floppy disk. You know, there, there, was that, there was like that one Twitter post of like a Japanese person asking about like, you know, the save icon in like Excel is a floppy disk? And they're asking, it's like, why is the save icon a vending machine? <laughs> like, what do you mean a vending machine? Why is the save button on MS Excel represented by a picture of a vending machine with a purchase drink at the bottom? Nobody knows what the floppy disk is anymore. It's just that old. Exactly! Who even has a floppy disk anymore? <laughs> what icon do people use for saving down if it's not the floppy disk thing? I have no idea actually. I think it's mainly just that. Inscription. There it is! There's the game! That's the game that we're playing! That's the game! Oh, this one also doesn't have the new game. I guess this is supposed to be... Is this supposed to be us? In this game, you play as Luke Carter. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, okay. So I guess this is me recording. I do not celebrate often, and I seldom give gifts. But you, challenger, you are worthy. Please, do not be polite. Dig in. Is there something wrong? Your prize awaits. Very well. Come with me. Stand right there. Uh. Oh. Uh. Take the camera? Well, I mean, yeah, I don't have a... F Please, do not be foolish. There is no film in there. I will need that. Oh, okay. You, challenger, are a champion. And I wish to commemorate your victory. Please, inscribe your name. Oh, typing? Oh, I've already typed so much stuff. I can't see shit. Oh, it's because I'm blind. <laughs> for now, since this is the first time of me winning, I'll, I'll put I'll put Lucas in for once. Shh, do not despair. You are a winner. Okay. How is this game not over yet? How is this game not over yet? Was the hint for the clock the 11 one? The last challenger managed to defeat me. A rare event. Go and ask how they did it. You'll find them hanging from the door over there. It seems that the lowly stink bug has made its way in. Oh yeah, the one that beat your fucking ass on the moon. <laughs> this, why is the stoat square? Oh, this one is new. Squirrel and skink. Okay. Uh, 
Lucas, hey look, it's me. Don't think we can really do anything else for now, so let's do this for another time. Well done for your first time playing this game though. Thank you. I mean, I did kind of cheat. Bye-bye. <laughs>